against every satanic influence in this arena. And we pray that you sustain and continue to give him good health. This is our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yes, let's say in line with uh, these very events, there is a military who will have to do some uh, military parade just to welcome you in this uh, auspicious event. Thank you. to greet the traditional rulers, present them. This is a great moment in the land of where not. The chief judge has attracted the governor the Chief Judge is taking His Excellency straight to inspecting the initial uh, outfit as well as for the team. I hope the microphone can get to that place. All right. Decide the other that every runner of safety Toronto Norge 
by Uzo Ali be governor only a kem wabo dum for wa Mama Babi Daji him Oma Eroana now the road is Omali Radiat Oma Gente Yem Pobiangata Emma Namoma top to Niki APC Anybody Ambia got any campaign in the world Your Excellency, the performing government of human state, the constant government of human state. Your Excellency, the governor, Right Honorable uh, Speaker, Barista Emeka and Bukat. Uh, not forgetting the chief of staff. Uh, I may I stand on the existing protocol for a moment of time. I welcome address presented by the sole administrator of the Honorable Government Council, Mr. Tony Mezurike, to the visit of His Excellency the Governor of Vimu State for the commission of a high court complex at the local government temple of Yura today, Wednesday, 26th. April 2023. Your Excellency, suffice it to inform you that today is a special day in the life of the history of Himu State and the uh, Warren in particular. That for Warren not to have high court complex, paid funds available to put this to the list. Your Excellency, I met an abandoned an abandoned structure. Structure, go with all here. Your Excellency, I recovered. Your Excellency, here lies a depleted uh, structure. Your Excellency, I rehabilitated it. Your Excellency, I reconstructed as well. In the spirit of three armed mantra of reconstruction. And the reform Your Excellency, we are here to replicate their policies and programs as is in the state. And that is simply what you are doing here. We know. A key, you are interested in justice delivery to the grassroots, and that is why I found it necessary to make this available for today. I cannot complete the course without mentioning the effort of the chief judge. In short, she inspired me to do this, she initiated it, and all thanks to her. She's our wife, the performing work is contained. Book, but however, because of want of time, Excellency, I want to tell you, for us, you are our last political constituent. So you have rogered us with the road. Having said that, Your Excellency, but whether or not we have benefited enough, a lot, though we are expecting more, and as in law, in a special way, Your Excellency, we still need more. And will not be tired of having more. Thank you very much. Being here, despite the tight shadow you have today, you still made it possible to be here. Having said that, Excellency, we want to tell you we love you and we keep loving you. Love, God, but the Allah will love it by you. Allah, you will be here that you see. I'm not going to the woman. Governor, they they all want to hear my Your Excellency, the governor of Imo State. My Lord, the Chief Judge of Imo State, I stand on the latest established protocols. Your Excellency, may I, on behalf of the MBE over branch, thank you for making it possible that this edifice is standing here today. It's not an easy thing. Your Excellency, you have been working very well for the state. I know the last time I addressed you, I talked to you about the MCC Orata Road. I never knew you were working it from Morat. <laughs> Meanwhile, I always assess it from Wedra. And by the time I got to uh, Oru, uh, sorry, Toronto, Toronto. Oh. I noticed that the whole place has he been has everywhere. 
Your Excellency, that shows you are really doing well for the state. Your Excellency, we have looked at this edifice. Oh. Your Excellency, you will agree with me that the situation we find ourselves now is no longer the usual situation. Your Excellency, if you look around, especially over there, you will notice uh, a jungle. Your Excellency, we pray you to secure this place more. Oh. Ensure that this place is properly secured so that the judicial officer and officers that will man this place to dispense justice we do that without fear of being attacked by anybody and at any time. Oh. Your Excellency can also authorize that this place be fenced up and properly wired so as to secure this place. Thank you once more, Your Excellency, for the good work you've been doing. And may the good Lord continue to bless you. <laughs> And I continue to take it. I hung up here. ABC, oh, Chief George and Rodia, Pippin, even the lawyer for judgment, he may appreciate. You're blessed. Reorganization of an acre. Your Excellency, the governor, relying under the temple that we have here. May I humbly invite the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Barrister C.O.C. Akulisa, a man who understands what time is all about, to please... please. The Executive Governor of Imo State, the Deputy Governor of Imo State, my Lord, the High Court Judges, acting with the Chief Judge of Imo State, and the President of the Custom Record of Appeal. Relying on the existing protocol, my lords, your excellency, I am overwhelmed, but I'm not surprised that our learned friend, the sole administrator of the local government, could consider the high court as a high priority for his administration. That he did it, and we're coming here today to commission it is something that every other local government should also emulate. Because at times, sole administrators From are taken as officials who are not supposed to do capital projects. But this sole administrator has identified a project that is of great need to his people, and he has decided to execute it. So we say congratulations to this sole administrator. Make a spec to transform. Without more, I wish to also congratulate my Lord, the Chief Judge of Imo State, for encouraging that this High Court complex be constructed at this place and at this time to send justice nearer to the people, which is one of the promises His Excellency made in his opening speech at his inauguration, that this administration will bring justice near to the people. Okay, I can, I continue can. to thank you and God bless all of you. On that note, may I quickly invite my Lord, the Chief Judge of Imo State. Let me stand on existing protocols. Your Excellency, my own is very short. I'm overwhelmed that you are here. Oh, sorry, sir. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for finding time within your tight schedule to come to a webinar to commission this high court complex. 
Your Excellency, it might interest you that in Oweri we have Oweri North, Oweri West, and Municipal. In the courts we have it for the capital, that is Oweri as a whole. Not the local governments have a high court. This is the first high court building in Oweri local government. God. without you empowering our mere bootstrap like straight up Arigerimba, my good husband this wouldn't have been possible your excellency you can see that the elders of over north are here that shows that we love you and we also appreciate you your excellency the women are also here you can see them are done in their beautiful attire what we want to say we are very, very grateful. Your Excellency, men, thank you so much for loving Oweri North. And we also love you in return. The MCC road to Ikeme Buanha to Mkwemeke is an example. Then to Road Safety and also to... Oh, I press it with your Excellency. Thank you. Oh, wow. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Imo State, Professor Placid in Jok, Right Honorable Speaker, Imo State House of Assembly. Right Honorable Emeka Nduka, the Chief Judge of Imo State. Honorable Justice Teresa Chikeka, the President Customary Court of Appeal. Honorable Just Justice Victor Kono. Honorable members of Himo State House of Assembly in our midst, the Chief of Staff to the Governor of Himo State, Barrister Nande Ayehe, the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Barrister C.O.C. Kakonis, Honorable Commissioners and members of Himo State Expanded Executive Council, Honorable Justices and members of the Judiciary at large. The Chairman, Civil Service Commission, Dr. Mrs. Julie Oyoko, and other government and political appointees. The sole administrator of a very not local government, Barrister Tony Umezreke, and other sole administrators from the various local governments in the name of state. Distinguished sons and daughters of a very not and their way witches. Your Royal Highnesses, Lazy, distinguished invited guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by first apologizing for my late arrival. We were engaged with a Zoom conference that I am the only one representing Southeast. So I couldn't have left the meeting since it was a national priority project that was being discussed. However, I want to thank the Almighty God for making today possible. One of the reasons why I decided to come here myself today is that there is nowhere in the budget of Himo State that we are supposed to build a high court in a world not local government. And the sole administrator of this local government prudently the same resources being given to all the local governments in the United States was able to know the needs of his local government, prioritize it, and today the project is being commissioned. I must commend him, as this is something that should be emulated. 
I want to also congratulate Imo Judiciary, particularly the Chief Judge of Imo State and her team, for the efforts in making sure that the ones and needs and all shortfalls that exist in the Department of Law and Judiciary are gradually being closed. I want to commend her and her team. I want to thank all of you who are not people. But I also will here to appreciate the hard work of the solar. Government is not one man. Government is all of us. Government is you, the traditional one. You, the indigenous. You, the woman. You, the clergy. And all of us. Collectively, we can make the difference in the states. And one thing is very clear. Imo people are very good people. And when they know they see the good thing, they know and they acknowledge. And when the bad thing is around, they also know and they lament. So it is nature. We cannot fault them. So Almighty God will continue to thank for the opportunity given to me to change the story. We had a better story in Imo State. And gradually what looks bad is becoming to look good. So only God alone. Everything is not politics, but the conscience of every man is the God in him. And it is my hope that the God in all of us will take absolute control of our actions and inactions. So as I continue to thank you and congratulate you, I want to plead with all the local government that sent us to try to be prudent and wear a manner that administer the resources given to them. They should emulate from me. I am not privileged with public resources. I enjoy myself with my own personal resources. And I know the difference between public funds and private funds. As long as every public officer is able to do that, you will go to heaven. May God bless all of you. Ladies and gentlemen,